Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you're having a lovely day today. Today, we will be looking at Luke chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed. For though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. He then told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. Today in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 13 through 21, We hear Jesus telling a gathered crowd a parable that is sometimes called the parable of the rich fool. In this parable, a rich landowner has a bountiful harvest, but it appears his barns and silos and storage bins do not have the capacity to store all of that harvest. So what to do? Well, He thinks about it, and his plan is to tear down his barns and build larger ones. There, he thinks, he will be able to store this large crop along with, as the scripture says, his other goods. So to me, it sounds like these new barns are going to be very substantial in size and probably investment. And as the man is hatching this plan, he's probably in his mind envisioning his prosperity, thinking that he is wise, certainly not thinking that he is foolish. The scripture says that he says, I shall say to myself, now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years, rest, eat, drink, be merry. And so he seems quite contented with the whole plan and the situation. And yet, as Jesus tells this parable, there is another side of this story, another way of looking at the man's abundant harvest and what to do with it and keeping it all in perspective. Jesus says that God said to the man, you fool, this night your life will be demanded of you and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Or I'm hearing him say, what good would those new big barns do you? Or perhaps, what becomes of all your plans and new buildings and expanded capacity for grains and other goods if you perish this evening? God calls him a fool. Now, as I think about this passage and reflect on it, there are many angles and thoughts and messages that come to my mind. I think about the greed of the rich man, or I think about the good and prudent planning of the rich man. I think about, well, couldn't that rich man share his crop with hungry people? But then I think, well, maybe he was going to share the crop after he kept it from spoiling. I'm also thinking, was this a one-time great crop? Or was there some sort of agricultural breakthrough where he actually did need and it was justified for him to build capacity in having or needing larger barns? And then I also think about, was this man, was this rich man a fool or was he not? But the thing that I keep coming back to in my reflection 
is the notion of time. The man in this parable was confronted with a bumper crop and he needed to figure out what to do with it. His decision was to squirrel away for what seemed like his own use. Remember, he said that he will have many things stored up and he's going to eat, drink, and be merry. And it was this decision that was to keep the grain that led to the use of his time, the time to plan and finance and build and fill his new barns. Because had he made a different decision, he would have used his time differently. Or as God had suggested through Jesus' telling in the parable, that if the man knew how much time he had, he might have made a different decision. I once heard a joke, what do you call a 90-year-old man with a 20-year strategic plan? And the answer is an optimist. This joke and today's parable get at that same perspective, and that is our prudent use of time. I believe that a mistake that many people make, far too many people probably make, religious and non-religious, including me, is that they think that we are temporary beings with a temporary spiritual dimension to our lives, when in reality, We are eternal beings with a temporary human dimension. And what that means for us is the perspective of how we use this time we have on earth. Today in the Gospel of Luke, we hear the parable of the rich fool. He was not a fool because he was planning. He was not a fool because he was rich or because of the abundant harvest or his focus on barns or buildings. He was foolish, in my opinion, because he forgot about where he is and where he is going and the importance of the use of time. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Laval, and remember, our word of the day is using our time. Until next time, be well and be blessed.